one of my beloveds sent me a message about wanting the universe to tell them what to do. These are their words. I'm up and down, wanting some higher power to order me around and take care of me. And what I want to say to this person or to you, if you might just be throwing your hands up in the air and like, you know, God or spirit or source or somebody just tell me what to do because I don't know. Is that you do have that connection with the universe or whatever word you might use to express that. You do have it. We all do. But it's not going to order you around. It's not bossy. That's the voice of the intellect. The intellect is bossy. It's mean. It pushes you around. The voice of truth is softer. It can be quite firm sometimes. But it doesn't yell. And it doesn't push you. And it doesn't get impatient with you when you don't listen. It's just always there telling you the next thing. When I expressed this to this person, they said to me, yeah, but the nudges I get are always in the moment and they don't give me enough about the future to really feel peaceful. And that's the way it works. They're absolutely on to it. It's real time. It's for right now. It gives you exactly what you need to know right now. And if you don't know it right now, you don't need to know. And that's only a problem for the intellect, for the little mind that feels unsafe. But if you know not to take that seriously, and it doesn't mean anything, it's insecure thought. You come back to this moment, to this present moment, where you have a real-time nudge for right now, real-time guidance for what you need right now, and know that that's all you need, and it's enough. It's what I want to share with them. It's what I want to share with you.